Hi friends, I'm Papa Joe and welcome to a new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. In this video I want to share with you more information relevant to the next season 10 in Call of Duty mobile. Be sure you are subscribed to my channel and the notification bell is activated for daily COD mobile content on my channel. Let's jump right into the video. After sharing some information about the next season with you in my past videos, in this video we look at more relevant information about Season 10. We start with the new weapons of the upcoming season and according to previous information is the new assault rifle called EM2 from Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. The new fully automatic EM2 assault rifle has good shot control and has a built-in low zoom optic which improves accuracy. Otherwise, the new weapon has a good range but a slower rate of fire than the Man o War. The new SMG named Lapu which was also discovered in the in-game files of the test server could also appear in the new Season 10, but the test server content is probably for two seasons. Nevertheless, this can still change until the official release. Which of the two new weapons are you more interested in? Which weapon would you like to see in COD Mobile? Write me your answers in the comment section. Now we'll take a look at new interesting information and changes concerning the ranked mode in Call of Duty Mobile, starting with the first information. According to the developers of the Chinese version, there will be improvements to the rating rewards for the upcoming ranked reset. Accordingly, the developers will most likely introduce items like sprays or emotes into the rewards. Whether we will see these changes already in Season 10 is unknown but conceivable. I think this is an interesting change because many of the free-to-play players hardly have a chance to get an epic emote for free. Several days ago, Dataminers discovered clues that could point to a new event, because in Battle Royale they discovered this spaceship. Some claim that you might have to fly this spaceship in a task because in Season 10 the third anniversary finally awaits us, which is why this theory is not bad. Especially the fact that there are hints of new Infinite Warfare content in COD Mobile confirms the theory. For the new season we can probably expect a new operator skill which is known from Infinite Warfare. We are talking about the test server playable operator skill called Ballista. In order to take out a laser transmitter with high penetration ability and get the ability to detect enemy location information. It is necessary to predict the enemy's movement path and cause lethal damage by charging. What opinion do you have regarding a possible IW event in COD Mobile? Write it to me in the comments. Furthermore, a new perk may appear next season in COD Mobile which has also been added to the test server. The new red perk called Accurate Locating shows enemy outlines when weapon damage is dealt or taken and slightly increases the ability to assist aiming. Feel free to drop me your thoughts on this in the comments section. After looking at some multiplayer and battle royale content, let's take a look at the next legendary character skin which will most likely be released in Season 10. Although there were no hints regarding a new legendary character skin in the in-game files, it is possible that a new legendary character skin will be released after the last new legendary character was released in Season 7. In the video you can see Motoko, but this character is only a placeholder for another character. However, there are hints that a new mythic weapon skin for the EM2 or the Lapa might be coming in Season 10. Currently these are only speculations and no confirmation and write me your opinion about this in the comments. Otherwise there are speculations that we can expect either a new Urban Tracker character skin as well as a new Mace skin or a new Reaper character in the next Battle Pass. Call of Duty Mobile answered that we won't have to wait long for one of these skins. If these characters will appear in the Battle Pass of the 3rd anniversary is currently not confirmed. Write me your opinion about it in the comment function. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.